Hey, what's happening, Shellbacks? Welcome back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Nintendo 3DS. And the Bayhem continues, right, Donnie? And Mikey. Don't what does that mean? mean? It means we're gonna go look for <laughs> Splinter, and I'm not gonna have to have my eyes bleeding looking at these monstrosities. <laughs> it's like, what does it mean? Just look at your face, Mikey. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't really go over this in the last episode, but you can switch turtles um, on the fly, just like the original NES game, uh, which everybody kind of dislikes, except I love that game still. But I will never do an LB of it because I'll end up with a heart attack. <laughs> I yeah. don't think I could ever do live commentary and uh, do that game. But um, I okay, okay. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I, go do I stuff. I did notice when you were live streaming, some people were disappointed because you can only play as one turtle at a, t at a time. Well, Whereas they're supposed to play as a team. Well, so they're they're kind of spoiled with some of the turtles games that have appeared uh, since the GameCube turtle games, where like all four turtles were present at the same time and. Mostly they were controlled by the computer, and then you had um, one person control the other, like, main character, or, or you know, players would drop in and out. Um, I always like... Well, I, I don't know. It, it all depends on how the game mechanics do. Yeah. I thought that the Wii game, based on the Nickelodeon Turtles, was pretty good. But, you know, the NPCs worked really well. Yeah. And um, Out of the Shadows, they kind of assist you, but people will see that later. It depends on what kind of game you're trying to do, is what, you know. But I do kind of like the environment, how it looks. I mean, they did pretty well with the graphics of... Except it looks like the sewers are tr tremendous. Like, it's like, wow, are sewers really this big? The sewers are condominiums, basically. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, good think... real estate down here. Yeah, More or less. you're supposed to start building your house down there or something. But you'd think the turtle... I wish the turtle looked a little bit bigger. I'm, I'm being a critic. Well, okay. But. Right now, this game, like I said in the uh, previous episode, uh, this game is based after the dungeon crawlers. So games yeah. where you can't jump, it's all about exploring, fighting enemies, leveling up, things like that. So, I mean, for people who are familiar with that stuff, like Baldur's Gate is a perfect example. Uh, Diablo. Um, Darkstone. Th these, that's what this game is modeled after. Yeah. More, more or less. And... It works. For for a portable game, I mean, this this works. I, I mean, I like games that are pretty quick and um, there's not much to them for on-the-go game, gaming and things like that. And this one, you know, each level takes about 14 minutes or so, aside from the first level. And it's, it's a good on-the-go game to play. Is it the best dungeon crawler? No. But it, it has merit. It's just as long as you remember to switch your turtles, and um, do your best to upgrade and go in with lots of pizza. I'd say this game is very playable. Mm -hmm. uh, the fun factor comes from the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and from just thinking about, like, if you love if you love the Ninja Turtles, then, you know, you'll probably get this game and just hang out and play it while you're in the waiting room to your doctor's office or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The only downside to the game is the turtles look like they do in the Michael Bay film. <laughs> yeah. You know? And the story has nothing to do with the new movie. So, I mean, it's it's an all-new storyline where Splinter's gone missing and the turtles have to save him. That could be a good thing, though. But, it's yeah. a new story. And I've heard things that the Rat King and some other people are in here, so they there might be some Nickelodeon or, like, cartoon villains that appear, like, remastered in the terrible Bay look, you know, oh. so... Yeah. Do you notice the difference between, like, the different characters? Are some better? Like, you like playing as some? My favorite character to play as in this game is Donatello. Oh, okay. He has the reach, the bow works really well, and he has great, like, agility. But, yeah. But after, he's weak. At least, I'm sure after playing that we, because we just played the Nickelodeon Turtle Wii game, so I'm sure that the fight, you know, combat is much better than that in this. Uh... This, I mean, I, I miss throwing guys up against the screen now. Oh, yeah, now, totally. yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Mondo but at least Bizarro. it's not like, at least like Raph in the Turtles Wii game was like, you couldn't really play as him at all. So. Yeah, Raph was terrible in that. Yeah. And, and this one, he's the Hulk. I mean, he's the biggest turtle of the group. He's like eight yep, feet tall. He's, a, he's the best, because Raph is supposed to be the best fighter anyway, so. But I'm, I'm sure people are, are going to ask me, um, so I'll, I'll just tell them straight. Uh, I... I I have seen the Turtles movie. It's okay. I mean, it's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a bad film. I mean, when the Turtles are on screen, they're great. They're fun. You're going to love them. 
Um, you know, the rest of the movie, yeah, it's just, no. There, there are a lot of elements in it where you were just kind of like, well, that guy should have been the Shredder and he's just, whatever, Sax, you know, the, the doctor guy. He's not Baxter Stockman. He's not anybody of any significance. Shocking. He's just this dude. Which is probably because all of us complained that I... they were going to get a white dude to play the Shredder. And, uh, you know, we were just like, oh, no, so no. Oh, so then they changed it? Yeah, so then they brought Shredder into the film. So... But I, I won't I won't go into too much spoilers. I will say the best parts of the movie that I enjoyed was the elevator scene. You really get to see the turtles' personality when they're like doing kind of like this little hip hop session in the elevator, waiting to go up yeah, to fight I did the Foot see Clan. That part. Yeah, I've seen clips. I haven't seen the whole thing. Well, myself, most so. here's the funny thing: most of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on screen stuff has appeared as clips, like online. Yeah, like, so the it's best like parts you can kind of film, watch all the best parts already. If you just type in Ninja Turtles on YouTube, you can pretty much... And then the rest of the film is, you don't... The parts that are not on YouTube, you probably wouldn't like those parts anyway, probably. I don't think Well, because... Uh, okay. Uh, um, this might be a little spoiler, but uh, how do I put this? You remember how in the first Turtles movie, like the... Before the remake, the original one, where the Turtles yeah. have their first battle, and to save on um, money costs and things like that, they shot it in the dark where they're going, yeah! Yeah, exactly. And then the yep. police come and the that lights come awesome. back on. I yeah. love it because it like builds up suspense. You don't know. It's kind of like for people who don't know what they look like yet. You know, right. what will Ninja Turtles look like? You know, what are they? Yeah, right. Exactly. So the turtles have a similar thing in the uh, the Bay produced film, yeah. but instead of seeing them immediately after, like their shadows on the wall and them coming into the sewer and yeah, exactly. you know that Raph upset cool... that he lost his sigh and you I... know really getting to see their personalities like right at the get-go, you have to wait almost 30 minutes before the turtles are fully on screen. Uh... And even then they're not really on screen. So the first 30 minutes isn't, you don't even get to see the main, what the, the whole, the entire title. They're sidekick the, characters. Yeah. Every reviewer, um... and I agree with them, every reviewer that's uh, talked about this movie is yeah. on they have the ball they're right every character aside from the turtles is the main character and the turtles are just the the yeah. side characters i think like some people in hollywood just need to learn sometimes like some people like are obsessed with like okay i'm gonna put this character this person in and i'm just gonna keep focusing on them because it gives more screen time but it's mm -hmm. like you should focus on what the story is about like if the, if the movie is about the turtles, then most of the time the turtles should be on screen. But people forget that. They they want to pay off these big Hollywood actors and put oh, them yeah. on screen. And, you know, it's all about the money where it should be about the story. So That's right. And we have, I mean, I've seen some terrible turtle movies and I would take... This could be a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. Yeah. I would take the uh, third turtles movie where they go in Japan yeah. over... The, the recent Michael Bay film. Because at least that movie had something called a plot. It had a principal villain. You know... Oh no, Donnie! I killed him. Oops. I messed up. You got too upset over it. I, I, I did. Knew, I knew the Bayhem would drive you... Drive you to that. I got... I got... Uh, knock, knock. I, I got shell-shocked. <laughs> knock, knock. You were about, about to get shell-shocked. Shell <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, what, exactly. that's what happened. Yeah, it was a problem. Yeah. We're gonna play as rap. Oh yeah, that did ah! happen. Yeah. I forgot to use my pizza. This is what happens when you do a live series. Yeah, well, oh. I, I notice when you when you when you talk about things that are upsetting about a game or a movie it, that bother you, it's like sometimes you end up like, uh, yeah. <laughs> K wing rage. K wing rage. Yeah, it's very I totally, cute. Though. I totally died. I wasn't paying attention to my turtles, but um. It's okay. It's okay. The turtles appreciate that you care about them and their name. Yeah, I'm I, I'm not I'm not trying it's to discourage crazy. you people that. You know, want yeah. to see this movie, and I have no nostalgia glasses. I, I already, thank you. I already know that the um, the Turtles movie was not made for me. It was made for the the uh, tweens and teens from this generation, and and you know they throw in some nods to uh, the parents who were you know grew up with the Turtles and just Turtle fans in general. There there is a couple lines in there that you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I see what you did there. But um, I think it was made for Michael Bay. It, it was made for Bay fans. It's, it's a quick Hollywood cash in, and thank God it is not as long as the Transformers movie. You could probably see this movie three times in a row and still have less time than the current Transformers film. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, I still want four hours of my life back. Never gonna happen. <laughs> I even wrote Bay a very strong worded letter about. You did? 
Yes. Oh, okay. I doubt he'll get it. But it'd be like, you don't have to have a four hours Transformers movie to have, just have Transformers screen time. It's like, oh, whatevs. Yeah, well, I, I just feel like heel, every heel. every movie is becoming like Transformers nowadays. But like, why, why do movies have to be so long? So, I mean... Even, um... Well, even when I was watching the Avengers movie, somehow they had all these robotic, like, alien creatures come in and they were transforming, and then there were all these explosions, and then for, like, 40 minutes I was just almost falling asleep because it was like, sorry, but it was just like, ad they added so much length with all these explosions that it was like, okay, I just want to get back to the plot, you know, like, I care about the storyline, but I don't know, I don't know why people are... I don't even think that kids care that much about explosions. I think it's just Hollywood people think they do. So, it's just weird. Everything explodes. We gotta go and back to basics, man. Exploring. Back to the basics. Take it back to where it, the story's at. Come here, you big I, rat. I, I am so glad that I hear a lot of even YouTube reviewers and other people that I've heard say that they still enjoy watching the original 80s uh or well, it wasn't. It was nineties. I'm sorry. No, Turtles. no, you're right. You're, uh, the the original movie. They oh, still yeah. like watching the first movie because it had good storyline. It's still fun to watch, and just because well, it, it didn't just know, have it just didn't have a good storyline. I mean, you, it had a lot of great elements to it. Sorry, sorry about that. No, this game sucks. It's not. <laughs> it's not your fault. But anyway, I oh man, I said let's not rant about it, and then I'm ranting, so I'm making you die. It's so. kind of kind of impossible not to. But <laughs> but here's here's the difference, people. The '90s movie, yeah, it was a little corny with the suits and things like that. But if you could look past the suits and some other things, then already you know you're in for a pretty good movie. Like, yeah. it has a plot. It has a thing where you understand. Okay. This group of turtles is a family. You, you, you don't get the fact that these turtles are really related or that they really care about each other until near the end of the film. Like, and immediately in the first movie, it's not even halfway through that you understand, you know, Splinter's role, and you understand the turtle's role, and the human's role, and you also understand the villain's role. You know? When I watched the original Turtles movie, it's like, and I think other people do too, it's like almost like you can put yourself in their shoes, like, like you know, you feel like everyone who watches it has a family, and everyone who watches it has, you know, like, you know, sometimes they feel a little weird uh -oh. and out of place, you know, and that's what the turtles are. They're people who, you know, they stick together and they're a family and they're brothers and it's, I don't know, it's just really, it's really sweet. It makes you think of, you know, it's, it really makes you feel for the characters, the way that they, you know do the movie and stuff like that where they set it up and not only are they just on characters that you just see you just see what they look like you see how they interact you see how they have a family at home and you know what i mean their family life and stuff like that it's really cute i like how they do the first one yeah and i i, I like the analogy that a lot of people are saying too um the turtles movie is transformers light you have a transformer in the movie it's the shredder but it's it's not who you think it is. So I, I don't want to really spoil too dun, much. Dun, but dun. it's be, I don't even know. Be, because you have I'm turtles so. that are eight feet tall, you have to have a shredder that's like ten feet tall. And it's just like oh. Maybe maybe next year like tur the turtles will be like Godzilla giants and then Shredder will be like four planets stuck together like oh, a snowman. You know it's gonna take them like three years before they make the next movie. <laughs> but um, um you know. In the next movie, I, I want to see some differences because, I mean, let's face it, there's going to be another movie. They've already announced that 2016 is the next Turtles movie, so they already have it ready to go. Like, you know, they're going to start working on a script or whatever. So for the next movie, what I want to see is I want to see, like, more of the Turtles' personality. I want more of the elevator scene. I want more of the scene in the uh, turtle van or party wagon, whatever they call it. I, I want more of the Himalayas scene and, you know, just, just more of their personality. The only ones who really get any character development is probably Raph and Michelangelo. So, uh, you know, it's... Exactly. Yeah. I but. don't want to just see one-liners and fun, you know, little things. I want to see, what are they like at home? Turtle vlogs. This could be a problem. It is a problem, Donnie. <laughs> what are it they is, really it like? is a problem. Who are the turtles really? Who, yeah. are, who are they when no one's looking? You know what I mean? What's, what's this? It's it's a travesty. But, I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, you guys, however you want to <laughs> see it, that's my opinion. Um, I'm not going to do a full okay. review on it. 
There are a lot of parts of the movie I don't like, and probably the only spoiler I'm going to give away, which really irks me, is the fact that Splinter has no connection to Shredder whatsoever. I mean, the Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Saki, like, parallel is gone. So, other than them just being, uh, like, two wandering ronins that bump into each other and fight, which is an awesome fight scene, by the way, um, they have no connection, which kind of, like, muddies the plot a little bit. It's like, whether or not, you know, Homato Yoshi is a human that was turned into a rat, or a rat that was the pet of Homato Yoshi, and, you know, had his ear nicked by the Shredder, and they have, like, kind of this rivalry and, like, connection. There's none of that in, in the new movie. No! Which, it, yeah, it really... That's the only spoiler I'm going to give away. The, the rest of it... I, again, when you guys see the turtles on screen, you're gonna love them, you're gonna want to see more of them, and you're gonna walk away disappointed, because it's like, the new Turtles movie reminds me of a great tasting Subway sandwich that you forgot to eat. I mean, you got all the ingredients that you wanted, you were happy, you know, then something came up and you had to run a couple errands, and that hot toasty sandwich... You left it on the counter. You left it on the counter, time. it became stale and a little <laughs> gross, and while the sandwich was still good, it could have been a lot better, and that is, you know, my my final view on the Bayhem. K-Wing has spoken. All right, so... But at least they're not aliens. At least they're not aliens, that's right. Even though they did make the alien line in it, they were like, oh, are they aliens? Oh. All right, now each turtle has their own signature ability in this game, and since Raph is the Hulk-like character, he is the strongest. I liked that analysis, k -Wing. You did well. Hulk smash! High three for your review, Kaming. That wasn't really a, was I know. More of a discussion. <laughs> I know, you were just talking. Yeah, you were just saying. Mikey giving, likes it. Giving your thoughts on the fly while playing the game. So, you know what I wish about this game, though? Is, mm. um, like, if they have a second movie and then they make a second game, is that if you could have two 3DSs next to each other and I could play, like, with you as another turtle, that'd be I mean, cool. In these, in these type of dungeon crawler games, you can get other people to play, but I don't believe- I think this game is only single player. I mean, okay. especially with the mechanic of switching between the different turtles. Uh, that is a, um, you know, that that's how this game's mechanic is. Sadness. There's no really- no way around it, whatsoever. You're like, yes, Amber can't mess me up. No, but <laughs> here, here's life. the thing. I still believe that turtles in video games are best used for beat-em-ups. Like, hmm. you know, the hack and slash games. Yeah. I don't really like them as um, the dungeon crawler games or the side-scrolling adventure games. They they work. They excel the best as arcade beat 'em ups because it's just more fun, you know. Um, which I would say the Nickelodeon Wii game and 360 game kind of showed that, but they were trying too hard to be good, you know. It, it, too hard. I did like the throwing at the screen thing. That was fun. Well, that was a. But that was, that was from playing. Before. That was playing yeah. homage to the. Uh, yeah. Turtles in Time game. Yeah, it's just so much fun to slam somebody up against the screen. It's very satisfying. The door is <laughs> shut. The way is shut. I'm a little concerned. I'm pretty sure that's Cam Clark, the original voice of Leonardo. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. he sounds pretty good. But he didn't voice it in the movie, though. All right, so we got to find a switch. Right, yeah. So where I, art thou switch? I am excited about watching more and more Turtles, like the cartoon, though, because <laughs> I've had a lot of fun watching that with you. And that in Gravity Falls and that I've been watching. It. Eh, Gravity Falls second season doesn't really do it for me right now, but it's not yeah. as bad as uh, the Teen Titans second season just seems like off the wall. It's like, what happened? Yeah. It's like they're, they're trying too hard to be those really gross Disney cartoons with the uh, really bizarre humor. I and it's don't, like, I'm not eh, it doesn't, no, it doesn't really work. Yeah, I mean, the new Teen... I, I'm sorry. Okay, people are going to disagree with me, but I liked the original... I liked the first season of Teen Titans Go because it was always about like it had some kind of even though it was kind of like stylized it was kind of like it had some kind of connection to reality like you could picture them actually goofing off and acting like that in their tower oops mikey sorry. lost but like the new season it's just like they're doing things that are just so psychedelic that it's just like whoa this would never they would never do this like it's so surreal and disconnected from reality that it's just like 
I don't know. For me, I just like to have some connection. Like it's too excessive. Are, when people are joking around, like I like it to be kind of like, oh, that's funny. And then when someone gets way too, I mean, I know I get a little too crazy and funny sometimes myself. But I'm just saying when it's a cartoon and it's just like, whoa, that's weird. I don't know. It's just for them, it's just too much. I I don't like it. I like it to have some kind of reference to the original Teen Titans or something in DC, you know? Because mm-hmm. that's what made the show funny. It was like taking serious characters from the DC comics and then making them like goof off and be funny. And that's what was funny about it. And now it's just like they're just like. The Teen Titans are just kind of making fun. They're just like having inside jokes about Teen Titans Go, and like it's just like not even referencing DC anymore, really. I mean, some of the episodes did. They had the Aquaman, but then that was like really disturbing while he ate the shrimp and things. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. So. <laughs> I mean, the second season they said they're going to play around more with um, getting characters that have been in DC and things like okay, that. Okay, well, a, I hope they do more of that, because I'm looking forward to that's that. That's why they, they have a bigger budget, so that's why we got characters like uh, Aqualad and things oh, like that. Oh, Aqualad, that's yeah, right. That, that I was, was it. thinking Aqualad, yeah. <laughs> you were thinking so, Aquaman. Uh, uh, yeah. And I like Aqualad's personality in the uh, the Teen Titans Go. I, I don't know what it is, but some shows, like, they're really good in the first season because it's almost like, you know, like, they're trying to be really good. They don't know if they're going to... They're gonna, you know, succeed or fail, and then when they do succeed, it's kind of like, I don't know, they kind of miss, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they lose that urgency, like, sometimes they lose that fire they had at the beginning, like, oh, we, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. My Little Ponies, that happened, and, you know, Gravity Falls, I, I'm I'm afraid that might have happened in Gravity Falls, I'm so sad. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot to mention, too, Um, in the Bay universe, the foot aren't ninjas, they're like, um, militarized soldiers. Whoa. So, yeah, it's like it, right. it's and like I an armed security force. Movie. Just to see what it's like. So, I mean, they're, they're a little they're a little different. Foot to face! I still think... Uh, never mind. Forget it. Oh. I, I, I love my character of April O'Neil. I love my little action figure, so I'm like I'm picturing like different people who could have played April O'Neil in my mind. It's like, I still have other people that I would have envisioned playing her, but, yeah, I'll watch the movie. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Leo agrees with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactamundo. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. I think I found where I'm supposed to go. Which means mini-boss battle. Wrap! Switch! Good job. You can do it. Don't mess with the Raff. Raffy smack. Come on, go down. Stay down. Let's kick some shell, K-Wing. Woohoo! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Cowabunga! <laughs> I will always love that word. You know what was funny when I was a kid? I never incorporated that as surfer slang. I thought that was just how the turtles talked. Yeah. It was because I. Me neither. Know, nobody, I didn't know. Nobody really. When like, you're a kid, you don't know where it comes from. Mm. You just see your cartoon characters say it, and you're like, "Cool." They say it. But I mean, so if it's people cool. ever want to learn how to speak like somebody from the '80s, just watch any '80s cartoon show from like <laughs> 1980. Two until 92 and you'll pretty much have 80 slang down especially like the cartoon shows because they really ham it up and things like that which mm-hmm. I, I still uh, speak mostly like I'm from the 80s which I'm fine with because oh, yeah. people were more fun back then they were more creative with their language you yeah. know so it was like people weren't afraid to be kind of goofy and silly mm-hmm. but they're like because they just had fun with it where people not, I just feel like people just become more and more serious like why like so all this, serious, all people? All the slang nowadays is like angry slang, whereas before it was like goofing off slang. I wouldn't really call it slang anymore. It's just yeah. swears. It's just it's anger. Not, it's not really slang. Ooh. Slang is something creative where you yeah. take a word this that. This could be a problem. It, it is a problem. It, it is a problem. Yeah. That's what we're seeing. <laughs> Whoa, they are so like this? in sync with us. It's crazy. Not to worry. All right, so Leonardo has the ability to slash shields. So. They want us to play as Leo. Leo time. Leo time. Ah, there we go. 
Take that and then, oh crap. It's crime fighting time. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. It's rats and humans working together. When you Mass hysteria. <laughs> when you have K-Wing land and uh, someday K-Wing, you're just going to have like a college course in all the different 80s cartoons. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> have, have quizzes on them. I can, well, what I can are these level, characters' catchphrases? I can level up to Professor K-Wing. Exactly. When you level up everything, you become Mayor the Doctor. <laughs> oh yeah. The light is green. That means the trap is clean. Or, in this case, the door is open. I, I'm just thinking of, like, um... Oh, yeah! When the... Wait, is that a... You were That's just a doing a Ghostbusters thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I was just thinking of that Daffy Duck, um, episode... What? Where he... Where he legally changes his name to Professor Duck. <laughs> and then oh, he teaches the a... Show? He teaches a class. And, and <laughs> he doesn't have a degree. It just... It, his name is legally Professor, so... What are we gonna do? We're gonna call ourselves Professor Turtles. Exactly. Oh, you you wanna know what I feel sad about besides how they look is all the kids have their action figures ruined because have you seen the action no. figures for yeah. these characters? Because it's like if they look a certain way, if they look kind of weird on screen, imagine action figures can only mimic that to a degree and it's always a little morphed. Like, the action figures are always a little bit less good-looking than how it looks in the movie. So it's like, if they already look kind of bad in the movie, imagine how bad the action figures are going to look. It's like, ah. They look, yeah, and we did see in the... We were in uh, Walmart, and we looked, and we were like, oh my gosh. I would not let my kid play with this, because it's like... Uh, so angry-looking, and kind of... It looks like it fell into, like, some... Like... <laughs> looks like it... Looks like it... I don't know... Looks like it fell into like some nuclear waste or something and crawled out like a, a few months later. Yeah, I mean I know that yeah turtles are mutated by some kind of ooze, but it's like mm, this takes the we're, this takes the idea of being mutated and messed up to a whole new level. It's just like no, it was supposed to be mutated in a cool way, like X Men or you know something cool, but not something yeah weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to go back to the turtles conversation because maybe I can learn something. Yeah, so one thing Kaming was asking me um, the other day was like, everyone says like turtles in a half shell, you know, like, are they really have a half shell? Because like, is the underside of a turtle, is that a sh is that soft or is that a shell too? Because can't turtles, they can hide all the way inside their shell. So they don't get hurt, right? So that's yeah. I, I never, I never really understood if that's what that is. I'm gonna have to look that up. All right. So yeah, Leo steps up. Blah blah blah. In any case, I'm gonna level up faster, so it works for me. Oh. Going down, clowns. Or in this case, ninjas that aren't really clowns. Face cold steel. Good job, Kiwi. Eh. Only thing that I don't like about the cartoon series, though, is Krang. But is <laughs> you he, weren't a big fan of Krang. Is he from the comics or no? Uh, you know what? I. I. You know really what? I was remember. so glad he wasn't any in any of the live action movies. At least I don't think he was. Because give like, it time. I every okay fine when I was younger I remember the reason I don't know much about him is because like whenever I would see him on screen like the few times that I did see any turtle cartoons I would actually literally walk away or like avert or close my eyes or not look at the screen because he looks so gross I hate how Krang looks all right what are we gonna do what's that trail still cold I'm a little concerned yes we're no closer to splinter now than we were before Okay, then what am I supposed to do if the door is... The way is shut. Yeah, are you in a glitch, maybe? Or do you um, have to push on something? Push on something? Like, pull, pull a lever or something like that? That's a good question. Wait, is that a lever right there? Or is that a fire alarm? I don't know. It was open. ready. Yeah, I, I've run into you some issues. You might be in a glitch. 
I don't know. But anyway, gamers, that's going to conclude this episode. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Join us tomorrow as we get out of this place. I don't know what's going on, honestly. But um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to tickle that like button to show you like us. You really like us. And uh, we'll see you... Ninja kick the like button. Yeah. yeah. Ninja, ninja kicking like Ooh, buttons are good. All right. See you guys later. Have a great night and stay awesome.